My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so Howard is actually out of town for work for a couple of days, so I'm gonna be making some easy dinners while he's gone. So let me show you what I'm having for dinner tonight. I have this Asian chopped salad kit that I picked up from Aldi, and normally I would eat this for lunch and I eat half the bag. So I'm gonna have half of this bag, and then I have some shredded red cabbage. I'm gonna add some red cabbage to that because I love red cabbage in my salad. The salad kit comes with a package of um, wonton strips and almonds, so I'm gonna have half. And then the salad dressing, I'm gonna have half. Now for me, I think the salad dressing is a little bit sweet, so I cut it with this, which I absolutely love, this ginger dressing. And then I'm gonna chop up some um, 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 green onions, and then I'm gonna add some more wontons if I need them. I do have some dino nuggets in the air fryer that I'm gonna chop out, chop up as soon as they're done. So I'll show you my salad once it's ready to go. Okay, so here's my finished salad, and you can see that I added in the dino nuggets. These are the uh, nuggets that Harrison won't eat, so I had to repurpose them. But this is what I'm having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So Howard is still out of town, so I decided to make something he probably would not like. And I had this quick steak in my freezer, chicken breast, and it's really thin cut, kind of like um, the beef, like Philly cheese steak meat. So I'm using that, and it is 12 ounces. And then I am going to be using this black pepper chicken sauce that I've had in my pantry for a while. Howard doesn't like black pepper, so that's why I have not made it yet. Um, but it calls for, I think, nine ounces of meat. And like I said, this is 12 ounces. It'll be fine. Um, it also, this packet also calls for um, like one ounce of celery and one ounce of um, carrots. And I don't have either one. So I am going to be using these green onions instead. So let's get started. Okay, here is dinner. Harrison is playing with his toy in the background, so that's what you hear. I was gonna record it, but the chicken cooked so fast, I didn't even have time. I'm not a huge chicken breast fan, um, but this is actually pretty good, I guess, because it's shaved and it cooks faster and it's a lot more tender. Um, but it's pretty good, has a good flavor, not super strong on the black pepper, but I like it. So this is what I'm having for dinner tonight, and I will see y'all next time. So Howard is back in town and I was looking in my pantry to see what I could cook and I found this wing seasoning that I needed to use. It's from Walmart. So I've already marinated the um, wings and had them in the freezer for quite a while, for several hours now. Um, and then also I had this rice in the pantry as well, needed to use that. So I am getting ready to pop these wings in the oven um, for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. The package actually calls for two pounds of chicken wings. My wing, uh, my bag of wings was two and a half pounds, but I still think that it should be okay. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so here's our dinner. There is the rice, and then I had some leftover broccoli in the fridge that I needed to eat and use up, so got that. And then of course, here is a chicken, has a pretty good flavor. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So we are having breakfast for dinner tonight. You can probably hear Harrison in the background. He has a toy going. Um, but I made some wild blueberry muffins. Um, these are from Aldi. I really like these a lot. Uh, this box makes 12, but I always make jumbo sized muffins, so it made six. And then I have some um, bacon, and then I also made some scrambled eggs. I scrambled my eggs in butter, salt, and pepper, and then I added some white cheddar cheese, which you can't see because it blended in with the eggs. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making some fettuccine sauce. In my fridge, I had some leftover bucatini from a recipe that I made um, I guess it was last week, and I'll make sure to link that recipe in the video in the uh, description box. It was for a 
um, I think it was sausage and kale bucatini, and it was really good. I just made too much pasta. So I'm making my fettuccine sauce. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box as well. But I've got a stick of unsalted butter, and I added in some garlic. Now I'm adding in two cups of heavy whipping cream. And I'm just going to let this simmer for just a few minutes. Okay, so now it's come to a slight slimmer, <laughs> simmer, easy for me to say. I'm just pouring in this Parmesan cheese. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper and salt. And I'm just gonna stir this and let this kind of thicken up. And then I'm just gonna add in my bucatini. Okay, so here's our dinner. It is nice and creamy and cheesy and so good. I am serving it with a breadstick. This is one from Kroger, it's actually Kroger brand, and it is stuffed with mozzarella cheese. So Howard and I aren't really crazy about these breadsticks. I probably wouldn't buy them again, nothing special. Um, and as you can see, I do not have a salad on the side, did not feel like having a vegetable tonight. So all carbs. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.